Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name's Corey. Thank you so much for watching. Today brings us to Lidditz, Pennsylvania, where we're checking out the final resting place of John A. Sutter. Now, I know a lot of controversy surrounds his name and his life, and uh, you can Google and draw your own conclusions. Today, we're just visiting the grave site, and I'm uh, approaching it from a historical perspective, because where he's buried and why he's buried where he's buried has a very interesting backstory. So check out the video to learn more, and uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. So today, we're visiting the final resting place of John A. Sutter, of the Sacramento area of California. He did spend his last couple years here in Lidditz and he is buried in Lidditz. And uh, his life is um, very interesting. And uh, the place where he's buried and why he's buried in this spot is also very interesting. Here's a view of the actual tombstone listing Sutter dying in 1880. And his wife died one year later. He lived in Lidditz and he made trips back and forth to Washington DC to try to reclaim money that he felt was owed uh, from the government for taking his land in California when gold was discovered there. The burial site seems to be well maintained and well kept by the local church. Now the question arises, why isn't he buried in the cemetery proper? Well, the reason for that is when he died, only Moravians could be buried in the cemetery. So he's buried right outside the main cemetery. This is another view of God's Acre, the earliest part of the cemetery. And here is Sutter's grave. Take a look here at the plaque that is situated at the front of the tombstone. Take a look at this marble wall that surrounds him and his wife's tomb. There's an interesting story there. Apparently, he was to be honored with a seven foot high marble uh, fencing, I'll call it, around his tomb. But uh, turns out his granddaughter did not like that idea. So he persuaded the construction workers who built this to put the wall six feet down and then leave one foot exposed. That's the story. That's what I've heard through the years. And um, that's what well, I guess we'll go with today. Take a look here. Here's one of the corners of the wall and there's definitely a small gap there in the center of the picture. I don't know, uh, <laughs> the, the little monument that's on top of the grass here is about a foot. Now, is there a six foot wall underneath that? We're not sure. Here's another view of the tomb of Sutter and his wife. Well, that's going to do it here in Lidditz, Pennsylvania at the final resting place of John A. Sutter. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video.